What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, actually. I'm back in the coffee shop, so you're gonna hear people in the background. Some ambience of people working, chatting, making coffee. <laughs> but nevertheless, man, I won't bring you guys something today. I didn't wanna do it at the house. Actually, I'm still working on my lighting, but we've been to this spot before. You already know what I do. I like the quality. I like the fact that I'm out in the elements. I also like the fact of how the videos look when I'm in here. It's kind of something new to the channel. Well, it ain't new to the channel in the sense that you guys never saw me do the video here. You have. I actually did the Jimmy Butler video, which you guys haven't seen. But today I have something similar, but not really. And I want to do it in this spot. Without further ado, before I keep boring you guys with my rhetoric and my commentary, let's get into these shoes, man. We got kicked out of symmetry. Symmetry. We always get kicked out of symmetry, man. We always shut the bar down of the coffee shop down like it's a club. <laughs> So we outside, what's this place called? Sayalita. Sayalita. Peep the box. Relax. She's putting her hands all in my, my video. Also got Corona. Some nachos on deck. Yo, it's kind of noisy out here, so I'm gonna take it to the house and finally do this review, man. Been waiting to do this for a long, long, long time. And um, I guess this is not the spot to do it, so I'm gonna see you out the crib. Every time I try to do a vlog at Symmetry or anywhere downtown Ocala, it always ends abruptly. Either the noise of the sounds which prevent us from doing the vlog. So I gotta take it to, to the house and continue it. Hopefully got some daylight so I can get some good lighting and um, bring you guys my pickup, man. I'm kind of excited about this shoe. This shoe takes it back to 1991. Y'all probably know what it is, man. But anyways, if I further giving it away, I'll see you at the crib. Peace. And I'm back inside the sneaker room, man. Sorry for the delay. Every time I decide to take my talents elsewhere, outside of this environment, something always happened. This is not the first time that I took myself to Symmetry Coffee and Crepes Shop and I got the video shut down early. They eventually closed, man. So I, I went over to another spot. It was Taco Tuesday. Never ate there before. I was like, yo, it's outside environment. Maybe I could do the video there. And um, shortly into it, sun, not so well. So we had to wrap that up and take it back to the crib. So now I'm situated back inside the room. And to be honest, this is the second time I'm doing this video. But that's not why I'm here for. You guys are here to hear my commentary about these shoes. Now I already unbox them, but before I tell you what it is, let me just give you a quick recap. Now picture this, 1991, as a youth, I'm sitting in my bedroom, watching a Zenith television, watching game two of the NBA Finals, and no other than Michael Jordan on the court. Michael Jordan pulled this move off. First of all, he passed it to Levinston, and he, Levinston drove to the hole, saw Michael Jordan in the cut, hit him off, Michael Jordan copped it, the lane was wide open, man. It's like they parked the C for him. Michael Jordan came through like he's about to dunk it, but pulled back and then switched hand and laid it up with his off hand, his left hand off the glass. To a point they called timeout, the Lakers called timeout. It's like, yo, I can't believe he just did this type is to us, man. It was so bad, the Lakers was, was losing 97 to 71. The game was a wrap. It was already in the fourth quarter. And Michael pulled this off. Prior to that, he hit like 12 or 13 consecutive shots for the Bulls. So Michael was taking the game over, man. And he was just killing the Lakers single-handedly. But what's more impressive, man, was the shoes on his feet. In the 91 playoffs, Michael Jordan had these shoes. And these shoes are say to release All-Star Weekend. But your boy got an early pair. Not because I hit up a plug. Not because I know somebody that knows somebody. It's because Sneaker app, bless your boy early. J23 to be exact, hit, send me a notification like, yo, these shoes are available. Go to the site and purchase. I pulled up, they had my size. I clicked buy now, put my thumb on my iPhone. My, and I'm just sitting patiently like, they ain't gonna give me these shoes. They gonna make me wait. And sure enough, little behold, I got them. Never post on Instagram. There was a ton of people post on Instagram. I'd rather get in the hand, see it, have the proof in the pudding before I let you guys know, man. And that's what I did. I waited patiently and it finally came today. But nevertheless, man, I'm happy 
to have these shoes. Now to give you a little recap on why these shoes mean so much, before I show you the shoes, just hear me out. Just, just, just one more minute. Actually, put the time on there. Boom. 1991 is when I actually started playing basketball. I wanted to be good at what I'm doing, so I asked my mom to buy me a basketball. She did. I literally dribbled the ball every day to school, through the legs, through the legs, behind the back, through the legs, man. So I was in New York, you know, we all about ball handling, man. So my ball handling was superb because I worked at it every day, five days a week. Was, and because of that game, game two, seeing Michael Jordan play, man, kind of put a match under me like, yo, I want to be good just like him. So at the time, the only thing I had was a ball, no basket. So I worked on those handles, man. So that's what got me into basketball. That got me liking Michael Jordan. That got me liking the NBA and everything that follows suit, even to this day. And hand, man, I can appreciate Michael. I can appreciate what the game I have seen transition from the 90s to the early 2000s to where we're at today and how the game transcend throughout the years, man. And this shoe, even though I never owned it, till now, seeing it on his foot that day, that game, when he did his move, Made me appreciate this shoe even, even more. My minute's probably up, so you guys probably want to see the shoes, man. So, the boxing's already been taken care of, so you ain't gonna see no unboxing, so let's get right into it. Here's the box. Y'all already can tell, this is an Air Jordan 5, maybe 6. Nevertheless, man, peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And they're no other than the Air Jordan 6 black infrared things, bro. With the Nike Air on the back. Y'all know about that. Man, these shoes has so many meaning, nostalgic memories, thoughts, emotions behind it. It is the first shoe I saw an NBA player play in. And it's actually the shoe I saw the best NBA player to this date played in. And it was these joints. He had these on feet. In 1991, these shoes retail for $125. Now today, 27 years later, with inflation, these shoes cost $200. Now y'all could probably say, yo, $200 is a lot for a pair of shoes, but if you do the math, yo, $125 back in 1991, 20 something, 20 something years ago, compared to $200 today, I mean, if, if for me it's worth it, I don't know about for y'all, maybe if y'all around my age, then yeah, y'all could appreciate this, man. This was not achievable back in 91. $125 for a pair of uh, tennis shoes, wasn't having it. I was in Jordan, so why would somebody invest $125 into me for something I may not even um, like later, but the stand of, the stand of time. These shoes are still classic. They definitely are memorabilia for most people. They're nostalgic for most, memorable for a lot, and for me, it's all the above. Man, I check, I can check off a lot of memories on this shoe. A lot of reason why this shoe means a lot, man. To the point where where I'm at today is because of basketball and, and this shoe and the love for the game. Let's comb over the shoe real quick, man. Let's talk about the obvious, the outsole, right? The outsole, well, it's not the obvious. I'll get to the obvious portion of the shoe in a bit. But let's talk about this uh, translucent outsole. A lot of people's like, it's gonna yellow, it's gonna look like Kool-Aid, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna look like dirty ice, whatever the case is. That's what they decided to put on there for whatever reason, I'm not mad at it. And also you have a predominantly all black with a Jumpman infrared logo underneath the shoe. Now, on the lateral side, on the lower part of the shoe, the midsole, you do have an infrared color, and that is the obvious part. People want to know the color and if it's the true color to the OGs. Well, I don't have the OG, so I cannot compare it, but given the fact that it says infrared and it's not the pink color that came back maybe four or five years ago, I think is is on point. It's on par to what they could use today to replicate the 1991 pair. On the lateral side as well, you do have an infrared pink, I'm sorry, that infrared <laughs> red, also on the jump man and the lace lock in the center, also on the spoiler back piece as well. The upper is predominantly all new buck and that black colorway, that's the black, man. This is true black, the, the material is great, the felt is great. Um, I don't see glue stains on my pair, so the craftsmanship is on par. You do have that Nike Air on the back, which everyone foam at the mouth for, so I mean, this is probably gonna be the closest thing other than the 91 pair. And with this pair, this is more wearable than a 91 pair. So this is the best Michael Jordan shoe, infrared shoe, black infrared, replicating the 1991 version you would get to date. And I'm happy to have it in the collection, even though it was $200, but it checks off everything that I would want in the shoe and everything that means to me in a shoe 
of that era at that time when I first saw these joints. Let's take a look at the other shoe. Here you go. Both shoes in hand. I see that translucent outsole, predominantly all black. And you do got the lace lock on both shoes. Nike Air Brandon on the back heel. Jordan Jumpman on the middle of the tongue. What more can I say? What more can I talk about? What more can I go over about these shoes, man? These shoes are slated to drop All-Star Weekend, which is a week and a half from now. Next Saturday, I believe that's the 14th. I, don't quote me on it. Don't do it. Just be on the lookout for the shoe uh, next week, Saturday, <laughs> when they drop, man. I'm not sure if Nike would do another early drop. They may. Who knows? They probably have a ton of pairs, and they probably wanna, want everyone to get a pair, so they're going to have possibly multiple options for people to cop other than the sneaker app and your foot traffic sites, man. Again, the retail for $200. I got my pair early. Not from a plug, not from a connect, not from somebody who knows somebody that knows somebody, straight from the sneaker app itself. Yes, I want it off the sneaker app. Here's quick proof. Here's the box. Oh, return label rather. Man, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to my story about these particular shoes. I know a lot of people want these shoes for whatever reasons, but this shoe has so many significant reasons for me to want to cop it and I'm happy to have them early. Not because I'm a rock em early or anything like that, just so I feel peace of mind securing a pair. They don't have to worry about day of release. So I'm happy for that, man. And I'm also happy for the fact that I got a lot of you guys who support the channel. A lot of you guys who hit me up on the DM or IG. Always showing love, always showing appreciation. Leaving your comments down below, man. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys for supporting your boy for throughout these years, man. So I'm gonna continue grinding. I'm gonna continue making these videos. And I'm gonna continue hitting you guys in the head with these Nike outlet videos as well, man. Just wanna give you guys a quick review of these infrared sixes. Let me know your thoughts down below, man. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you're watching me and you like what you just saw, you like this review, you like the reasons why I buy this shoe, or you like the reasons why, what made me buy this shoe, hit that subscribe button, man. I have a lot more stories similar to this one in the future. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That really means a lot. Everyone else, including you new guys, you newbies, welcome. Leave your comments down below, man. Let me know if you guys cop, if you cop them early, if you got them like I did. Are you guys gonna wait for the, the the day of release, which will be the following Saturday? They're gonna be readily available everywhere. And if you're in Charlotte, you know, you might have some pop-up shops here and there. You can probably buy them early as well. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions. This is a must-have, is something you're gonna pass on. What about the price point? You know, does do you guys feel the $200 was is justified for this shoe? Because Nike has struck out when they're trying to rebrand or charge $200 for any shoes that have Nike on the back. But I feel like this is gonna be the first shoe that actually has a Nike on the back. I think the Cement 3 set, I could be wrong, but I believe these will sell out. I believe, I don't even do these predictions, but I believe this have a lot more meaning than every other shoe that had a Nike on the back, including the True Blues, including the Maroon 6s, and maybe neck and neck with the Cement 3s, but I feel like this, this kinda, took a notch over the Cement 3s. Jordan did one at Slam Dunk Contest, but he actually won the NBA Finals in this shoe, in this silhouette. So I feel like I have a, I have a little notch under his belt and potentially would resonate a lot better and probably that price point may be more well received for the type of shoe this is. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, right? We all are. But anyways, I want to hear y'all comments down below to sign off, man. Until then, until then, until the next pickup, the next Nike outlet video, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Man, happy to have these, bro. Happy to have these.